Hello everyone, thank you for coming to join me today. Um, I just wanted to do a quick video. I'm trying to do a couple of videos for you while I'm away on holiday and I thought I'd just do um, a couple of quick ones. Um, I haven't got a prototype to show you, uh, but I made this pocket in my um, Mrs Tittlemouse journal, which I'm thinking is the video before this. So it's made from a window envelope and what I've done is I've cut that bit out of the window envelope whichever way around it went it doesn't really matter so what I've tried to do is cut equal um, distance all the way around it so that it makes it like a frame a little bit like um, some envelopes that you can get that are small like this with a window um, so I think they are about it's about three quarters of an inch all the way of paper that I've left an edge a frame of the window all the way around um, but as I say it really it it doesn't matter um, it depends what size your window is. I know that here in the UK, our uh, window envelopes are not the same size as the ones in the US. So I know that they are slightly different. Um, so literally just cutting it. And of course, you can use that as a pocket. You can seal that up and use that as a pocket, um, you know, however you want to. So I'm going to hold on to those and we'll perhaps use those at a later date. And I think, yeah, I think it was about three quarters of an inch all the way around. I'll just cut that. I don't need that other bit. So it's plain on the back side and you've got just a little window envelope. So we need something to decorate inside that window envelope, don't we? Um, so I've got some of Rachel's papers. Sorry if I asked you all how you are. I'm just conscious that I haven't got a lot of time. I wonder if that would fit, if that little birdie would fit. I'm thinking he might. Should we try him? Yeah, so um, we're away for most of June and then we come back at the end of June and then I'm here for a, a week or so and then we're off away till the end of July. I think we're trying to um, make the most of it from what we couldn't do during lockdown. <laughs> so we're off. We're not hanging around. We could actually put that bird in, couldn't we? I might be able to fit. Oh, I should have thought of that, shouldn't I? I wonder if we could fit him that way, lengthways. I can always put some paper at the top of him, can't I? Oh, he looks quite regal in there, doesn't he? What do you think of that? So this then would be a pocket going up a page. So if this was the journal page, that would go as a tuck spot like that. Um, if you wanted to do it the other way, then you could do it that way. And it could be a belly band. You know, you could glue it down those two sides and it would be a belly band behind. But I think with this one, I think I am going to um, do him that way because he just fits in there quite nicely. I'm just going to take a little bit more off that edge. save these pieces because I can use them to decorate the outside I think he fits in there quite nicely but I just need something at the top there don't I do I want something brighter or do I just want some some words I think I just want some words so let's get cracking so how are you all doing um, I've just finished Mrs Tittlemouse I loved that journal absolutely loved it I had such fun making it um, I've got so many Beatrix Potter books. There's a, um, a second-hand bookshop near where I live and they tend to get quite a few Beatrix Potter books in and they sell them for 49p, which, you know, is nothing. So whenever I go in, if they've got a Beatrix Potter book, I just buy it. Can't help myself. Just can't help myself. Just tear to get rid of that bit. So I'm going to put this bird in and see what he looks like. So I think I've probably got a copy of all of the Beatrix Potter books. Um, and I use them a lot. I've, you know, I've, I've used quite a few of them already, um, but I've got duplicates. So that no doubt I will be making another one. 
just want to push him over a little bit sorry can you see folks i'm just trying to push him over slightly so that his beak isn't cut off i like that liking that already and i'm just wondering sorry if i'm reaching around you i've got all sorts on my desk um, i'm just wondering if i could put a little ticket in there as well i think i can i think i can indeed i mean you could put anything inside this window couldn't you you know it's, it's like decorating a pocket isn't it so i think you really could get away with putting anything inside here but i'm going to go with that let's get that out of the way and then to decorate round here obviously this is open so i am just going to roughly take papers and decorate being careful i don't want to cover that guy up and i'm just going to wrap them round the edges so that i, I seal i'm going to seal him in like that sticky fingers already folks i'm going to just cut that corner and then i'm just going to fold that over and then obviously that closes you start to close that bit that's open so i'm just going to do that all the way around and i this is a fantastic way of using these little snips that you've had laying around that you've not used for such a long time so let's put this one on there these are um you may recognize them as rachel's papers when i um, use different designers i try and keep all the little bits and pieces of paper together um, from that designer so that when i'm doing another project i can i can use their papers again and so again, I'm just going to snip that off and that off. I did have a, something to put all my waste little snips in, but I, I don't know where it's gone. Oh, it's right in front of me. Isn't that typical? There we go. So I'm liking him so far. Um... I don't know if you can see the little bits and pieces that I've got. That's got some words on it. What do we want? So is that. Mm, that's not going to close that up though, is it? That might. Yeah, I'll put that. Mm, I think I'm going to put that at the top. Quick change of mind. Yep, it's going to go at the top. So because you've got three open sides, you just want to close the envelope. I mean, I guess you could use, use it as a pocket itself if you wanted to, but that's not what I was wanting to do with these. I might need to get some different papers. I think that one will go on there, won't it? So I'm not, I'm trying not to really think about what I'm actually using. I'm just trying to use up the bits and pieces of paper that I've got. But as I say, I think I am going to need to um, break into some other papers. I don't think these are going to all cut it. I think I'm going to need some extras. But I think I've said before, if you are using papers from one designer, they just do seem to go together quite nicely. They don't tend to clash. I'll get those bits of paper out of the way. Don't you just hate sticky fingers? Wouldn't it be good if they, <laughs> they could create glue that's not sticky on your fingers but sticks your paper? And I just want something across the bottom. I've only got a little bit there to close off. Will that do? think it will that'll do and my glue gluey papers are sticking to my glue book already 
and then just close close that one off so that is the first one so it's a nice quick project it doesn't take long to do you can put something else you know when you know what journal it's going in you could put something over there as if you wanted to and i haven't got the journal papers put together at the moment but as i say if you were making a journal then it would fit on either page you know fit it on glue it down two sides and you've got a nice tuck spot there and we'll do one the other way now shall we and see what you think of that so that's one piece of ephemera done had i cut more yep i have got another one cut look so we'll try and do this lengthwise shall we so i need something let me just try and move shuffle some pieces around um i don't know if that would fit or not let's try let us try so again, this is one of Rachel's papers. I think this is from her um, Italian, is it French Chateau or Italian Chateau? I'm going to say from her French Chateau. I think that will fit in there quite nicely. So I'm going to... looks like if I do it there and do it there let's see if I got that about right and of course by doing that you've got extra bits that you can use to close off your envelope isn't that pretty right that's going to go in there sorry change of glue paper folks where did I put it Oh, it's here. <laughs> oh, disappeared. Disappeared. So that's my chateau going behind the window. Le chateau. I do like that. And I think I might put some... Yeah, I'm going to use some of this very old paper i think pe this paper was from rachel i've got one of her paper packs and it's so brittle but it's perfect for collaging oopsie oh, i need to cut that don't i just so that it makes a bit of a corner Need quite as much, do we? Ugh, sticky, sticky, sticky. And again, just felt if you fold all of them over, you are going to enclose your um, image. You're going to close up that. Oh, I thought I'd put the writing on upside down. Then that's a bit too similar, isn't it? I might have that though. Let's just rough up that edge. off the top and a bit off the bottom I think there's we all you ought to do count how many projects can you do from an envelope honestly there must be so many and a pack of envelopes doesn't cost the earth does it it's not an expensive um, thing to buy but I just think you can make so many interesting pockets just from using an envelope. My gluey, gluey scissors. And as I say, this project is ideal for using up all your little snips. I'm conscious that I've only got um, just over 20 minutes on my phone. So this is literally going to have to be a quick project. I think we'll have a bit of that. Yeah, it's closed there. Just be conscious when if you if you do do this that you do need to close as I say close your little envelope up. 
can I put just there? Got a little bit of this left. So I think we'll have that on there. And that these are quick and easy things that you can do and put away in a box to be used another day on another project. And you can, you know, add when you know what which um, journal they're going to go in, you can add other things to them as well, can't you? Do I want such a plain one? Mm. See this, I know this isn't one of Rachel's papers, but it does look quite nice. But I don't think it's going to be quite deep enough. I don't need this one to wrap round because the bottom of this envelope is closed. But I need it to cover that, that paper. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to put a little bit of ink on that white envelope so that I can use that paper to cover that. Fine. I, just, I, I don't like to see stark white um, if you've got coloured papers with it, but it's personal taste, isn't it? Here we go, that's that one. And as I say again, you could put, just wondering if I've got something cut out that's not too big that I could use. It's a bit big, isn't it, that one? I'm just thinking it might be nice to put a little butterfly on there and it catches with that and I think I'm going to. If I could locate my stronger glue. Why is it when you start and do something, your glues go walk about? Where did I put it? Oh, it's there. Hang on. I found the glue that works. One moment. Did I want to put a label as well? No, no, at least I've shown you a couple that you can... That says New York. It's not New York, is it? Do we like that? I think I might actually. Just wondering if there's a different colour label that I could use. That's a bit too big. I don't think it really matters if it's a little bit big. No, I don't like that. I'm running out of labels actually. But do I want blue? I don't think I want blue, although that says blue. No, I don't want it to say blue. That says orange, look. So I'm going to use that because it's an orange butterfly and it's an orange flower. Gosh. <laughs> Hang on a minute, folks. It's just when everything's collapsing down round your ears because you've got too much stuff out, isn't it? So if I put that there, I know I'm covering up that beautiful paper, but I think I like it. And then I'm going to put that butterfly on there. Now I know that these this is slightly um, stiffer paper and I want a little bit of it's going to be stuck on there. So I'm going to use my stronger glue. and get it glued on. Just squish it down. So that's the second one and that's the other one. Do you like them? 
I quite like them. So I'm going to leave it there for now because I know that I've not got much time left on my phone. Um, I hope you make these. This will be a belly band so it will stick onto the page. If it was like that, it would stick on the page like that. So I'd glue it down there and down there and have it as a tuck spot down. Or it could be a pocket at the bottom of the page, in which case you'd glue it on three sides. And then this one would go, you could make it into a flap if you wanted to, in which case you'd want to cover the back. But you could make it into a flap, a flippy flap, a flapping flip, um, or a pocket. Lots of options with it. So just something that you can do with your envelopes. So I hope you like these. Rachel's paper is perfect for this. And I'll see you later. Take care all. Bye.